As you look through your social media, you'll typically see your fit friends posting their self-indulging pictures of their workouts, their progress, and of course the supposed healthy food they eat. And undoubtedly, you'll bump into the occasional post of the awesome protein shake they took right before they hit the gym. And by far the most popular protein shake comes in the form of whey protein. So what exactly is whey and how can it help you with your fitness gains? Whey is a source of protein naturally found in milk. When mixed with renins, a complex mix of coagulant enzymes, milk curdles and separates into different constituents. One is the aforementioned whey, currently in its liquid form, and the leftover curds are used to make cheese and also whey's not as popular little brother known as casein. The liquid whey is then pasteurized and dried out to create the familiar powdery product we find in store shelves. So what's in this whey that makes it so special? The obvious stuff is the protein, and whey has quite a diverse amino acid profile. It contains amino acids such as the common glutamine, the dopamine aid tyrosine, nitric oxide booster arginine, and others such as lysine, glycine, phenylalanine, and aspartic acid. But in terms of building muscle, whey also contains the ever-crucial branch chain amino acids. As we know now, the presence of BCAAs, especially leucine, in our body paired with resistance training immensely improves muscle protein synthesis. And with about 3 grams of leucine per serving, whey protein most definitely can improve your gains at the gym. And the awesome thing about whey amino acids is that they form larger peptides and proteins that serve more health benefits. Perhaps the most beneficial for adults are the immunoglobulin and the lactoferrin proteins, which can aid your immune system as well as having anti-cancer and anti-aging effects. Whey protein is not exactly 100% all protein. Being a dairy source, it naturally contains some fat and the sugar lactose. As with any dairy product, this can be problematic for those that are lactose intolerant. Fortunately, there are different options. Without getting too detailed on the different types of whey processing methods, just understand that each process has the goal of isolating the protein in whey from the lactose, carbs, and fats as much as possible. Problem is, some of the more intense separation methods such as whey ion exchange and whey hydrolysate tends to denature the proteins, losing the added health benefits for the sake of having more protein per gram and making the protein quicker to digest. Whether you consider having more protein or having added health benefits more important is your choice. But the most common whey proteins found in stores are whey concentrate and whey isolate. And if your main goals are gains, these are some top-notch options. For those that are not lactose intolerant, whey concentrate has up to 80% protein and the lactose can serve as a glucose source, powering your anaerobic energy system, thus powering your lips. For people that are lactose intolerant or looking for mainly protein, whey isolate clocks in at above 90% protein with limited denaturation and little to no lactose. Also, keep in mind that most of these whey protein shakes will have added flavoring, adding more sugar to its contents. But now, you're probably wondering, do you actually need whey protein in the first place? The answer, again, as always, is it depends. As great as whey protein can be, the protein in it can also be found in real food. Your consideration largely depends on the amount of protein you're already consuming. If you're already cranking down a solid amount of protein, such as 0.8 to 1.5 grams per kilogram of body weight, then adding extra whey isn't going to make a huge difference. Now, if you're trying to lose body fat and preserve lean mass at the same time, whey supplements might help you meet your protein goals without the additional calories as well as helping you feel more full throughout your day. For every other goal, it should be considered as a matter of convenience. Sometimes reaching your daily protein intake with food can be understandably difficult. Chucking down a whey protein shake can be easier than chomping down two pieces of chicken breast. Ultimately, you should think of whey protein or any other protein supplement for that matter the same way you think of the protein you eat. They are essentially the same. With that being said, if you feel like your gains have been better with drinking a protein shake, then continue to do so. If you don't think it will help you, simply don't take it. The choice is up to you. Go ahead and share your thoughts on whey protein in the comments. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.